Hey, welcome to a board game today. I'm Brad, and my hands is one of Joy Toys Warhammer 40,000 figures. This is a Black Legion Havoc Marine, the Chaos Space Marines. Now, Joy Toy is teamed up with Games Workshop to do uh, these action figure versions of their uh, tabletop miniatures. So far, they've been pretty impressive as far as the uh, of how well they've uh, come out as, uh, as figures. Uh, so let's open up this one and see... We, uh, what we've got. Ooh, check that out. This is one piece. One piece that goes for the entire figure. Uh, it's kind of impressive. That is really, really impressive. Um, should be interesting putting it on because there are spikes and I don't feel like stabbing myself. So, if you hear me say ouch, you'll know why. All right, let's go and actually look at the figure. So we got two extra hands, which could be handy because it's possible these might stretch out a bit. Oh, the shoulder popped off. It does happen a decent amount. That's maybe the only negative about these figures is sometimes when they go, they like really, really go. Here, uh, let's do let's do the uh, stand test. All right, successful. I pulled that one off. Nice. Very very happy about that. All right, movement of the figure, the foot, a little bit of toe movement as well. Knees, solid movement there. Leg twists, hip movement really well. We got the waist. Back and forth as well a bit. Head moves all around. As you can see, the arms are nice and flexible based off of this, and it stood generally with no problems. You can actually see they've really thought this through based off of the foot. Um, they've put these kind of claws in the front, I'm sure, to help balance the figure, which is really, really intelligent. Uh, as far as the... Let's get this out of the way. Uh, as far as the coloring of the figure, you know, obviously Black Legion, it does it really well with the uh, black and kind of the burnished gold. Uh, of course, we get the, the eye of Horus on the side. Um, the figure itself, really nice details. Skull on the knee. We get the uh, tabard. I don't know, is that tabard what it's called? With chains coming down, some small little items coming off of that. Skulls hanging off. Uh, the feet, as I said, I think are, is really, really intelligent. Uh, the back is nice for the backpack in that we have some small spikes. It's a really small detail, but I think it adds a lot to the figure. And of course, the head is really, really interesting, um, kind of uh, foregoing the normal Space Marine kind of curved helmet and instead of having these like, not snake-like, but um, um, more tubes, um, yeah, like more like power tubes going around. I'd say maybe the only negative is that there's some tear in the tubes that aren't colored. So it's just like black within black. I think maybe there should have been a silver or something within to make that pop a little bit. But it's a small, uh, small complaint for the overall. Uh, the weapon itself, pretty nice. Um, I think they've done some better weapons elsewhere. I think maybe the only thing would be is uh, the, the fact that this is kind of filled in. I'm not sure how, I mean, chain guns, I don't know if chain guns are like open at that point. But it, for some reason it feels like this should be open. Um, there is a little bit of depth towards the front. So I don't I don't know. It just I don't know why. It just feels like that should be open. I'm I'm not an expert on these things. We do have some spikes overall. The coloring's pretty decent. Um, so overall, like it's it's a it's a well executed figure. I think maybe not the best they've done. Um, there are definitely other figures that are way better, but I do appreciate it. Like there's a lot of detail and it's it's executed really well um, in a pretty cool way. Like the the way the bullets kind of curve around coming out of the backpack into the gun in the one piece. I actually think it's it's really smart engineering, if that makes sense, uh, as far as a figure goes. Um, and the fact that it balances on its own with very little work, I think is impressive. Um, you can see I'm just kind of dropping it down and standing and I don't have to fiddle and like really get it to balance uh, with you know such kind of a front heavy weapon. That's, that's an impressive aspect to it. Um, the other thing I would say negative is the first one I'm really noticing a mold line at the top. Um, on the backpack. So um, overall, like, not bad. It's kind of, it's a cool addition to get some heavy weapons like this into the line. 
uh, and overall, like, not a, it's not bad execution. It's just, I think it just lacks some of the detail and small, some of the small stuff that we see in the other figures. And there's other small things like the mold lines that kind of stand out uh, about this. Um, so yeah, I mean, really, if you, you just kind of want to build out your, your heavy weapons for your, your chaos force, it's worth it. But this isn't one that I think I necessarily would like rush out and have to get. Unless, of course, you're like just a really, really big fan of, of this weapon. Um, so overall, like, not bad. Not bad, not great. They, they do a lot better with the line, uh, some other figures with the line. Um, but you can get this. It is out now. We've got a some links beneath this video where you can purchase yours. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. Just watch your video, support us, so thank you for that. If you are into Warhammer 40,000, if you're into Joy Toy, if you're into board games, card games, miniature games, uh, role-playing games, whatever. Check us out every single day at BoardGameToday.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, all at BoardGameToday, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep rolling that dice. Get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at BoardGameToday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.